my biggest influences. I like the Impressionists, Monet in particular, um, but also Jackson Pollock. So when I was in art school, again in my 40s, um, at the University of the Fraser Valley in Abbotsford, every second year the art department went to New York City to see uh, the big museums and art galleries there. So I just absolutely fell in love with Jackson Pollock's paintings and really got what he was doing. So then came back and experimented with dripping paint from above on the canvases and the big one overwhelming was done at the university. So uh, that was kind of fun. And then after university, just kept experimenting with different paints and different mediums and I just really loved dripping paint. So, so, so certainly Jackson Pollock um, and then also an impressionist kind of style rather than high realism. So yeah, those two I think are my big influences. Sometimes I'm just influenced by things that I see in my everyday life. So all the cherry blossoms I've done, I've, I've painted dozens of cherry blossom paintings uh, because the Vancouver Richmond area is just full of cherry blossom trees every spring um, and people really like those. Uh, but even um, things that I like to notice is when you're driving down a highway and there's scruffy grasses in the ditches in the side of the road, there's real beauty in a lot of those grasses. And I've got a series called Uncultivated, and that means they were not planted by anybody, they're just grasses and seed heads and flowers that grow on the roadside that are really beautiful. They're all chaotic and moving with the swishing of the, the, the wind from the cars, and there's just a real beauty in them and movement. So a lot of mine are just scruffy kind of wildflowers and grass fields um, that I, I quite like. That influences me too. Yeah, that's what I would do, spread the joy. We're going to bring my special. 